but I gotta. By God, I gotta. I damn near gotta. It was this day at the works. A Friday. I'll never forget it. And George Williamson comes sidling up to me with a newspaper in his hand and a great old smirk on his jaw. And says he, so the Pope's not infallible after all, Andy, says he. Oh, a bad, bitter Protestant, that same Williamson. What's that, says I? You know, they're very quiet. According to the newspaper here, says he, even the Pope can make a mistake. What do you make of that now, eh? Isn't that a surprise? And he hands me the paper. So, I pulls out the glasses and puts them on. And takes the paper from him and looks at it. And when I seen it, you could have tipped me over. I was that weak. Like for five seconds, I couldn't speak with excitement. Only the sound of the heart thumping in my, in my chest like bloody hell. But there it was, in black and white, before my very eyes. The saint that never was. Official Vatican sources today announced, <laughs> I know it by heart that the devotion of all Roman Catholics to the Saint Philomena must be discontinued at once because there is little or no evidence that such a person ever existed. Oh. Like I did not know until that moment that I was such a spiteful man. And then my only thought was to ram that paper down the old woman's throat. Poor Williamson. I shot past him like a scolded cat and out of the workshop like the hammers of hell. <laughs> what I should have done. Oh, I know now, and my God, no need to tell me. Instead of coopering it up the way I done, what I should have done was to wait until after the tea and then go upstairs nice and calm and sit down on the side of the bed, very pleasant, and say, have a look through the paper, Mrs. Wilson, and then watch. By God, watch every wee flicker of her eye when she come to the big news. But I bollocksed it. I know, I know, I know, I know I bollocksed it. Straight from the workshop into a pub and when closing time comes, there I am, blotto. And back to the house, singing and shouting like a madman. <laughs>